fancy, fancy looking thing. I mean, if you're a big fan of Tron, you know, <laughs> it's it's the perfect it's way cool to live out days. the fantasy. You know, kind of. If Daft Punk played Street Fighter, <laughs> they would definitely be using oh, this yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, this offer expires uh, after this weekend, so take advantage of it today. I think today is the last day to use that promo code. So let's take a look at the bracket. That is the end of LPN. Uh, Wolf Crone will go on to fight, I believe, EG Flow. Okay. And uh, it looks like we have uh, Xian Chang from Texas going up against Mark Teddy. Recent, this, yeah. This recently is signed to DRS. Yeah. yeah. Mark Teddy, of course, uh, a guy who's really redeemed a character and made a character who has so many obvious flaws. Uh, strengths, but obvious flaws just look sort of unbeatable. Yeah. Uh, He's been doing super well at Wednesday Night Fights against the likes of Kino Online Tony Vai. He's basically put himself into that echelon of one of the favorites to win week after week. And the thing I think actually, I think if you look at his Wednesday Night Fights performance, you actually get even a not the full idea of how good this guy actually is. Yeah. Because not only are those guys great, but they also know Mark Teddy very, very well. <laughs> yeah. Whereas when you see Mark Teddy go up against people that are not as familiar with his shtick, uh -huh. he just runs him over. Yeah. I'm yeah, talking yeah. like 30 plus win streaks against some of the top NorCal players, mm -hmm. just mauling them. Yeah, yeah uh, absolutely. Incredible, incredible stuff. Shen Chang, of course, one of the classic player, uh, one of my <laughs> Teammates on the uh, first <laughs> yeah. Team USA all the way back. He's looking perpetually tired, but that's uh, that's Shen. <laughs> he's like, I can't believe I'm here. Yeah, but, but he's probably one of the most technical players, one of the most uh, just great reads, Fire. and he just doesn't show up a lot to tournaments. But he's one of the strongest players in the country. Uh, without question, yeah. I don't think he, you know he's not he's not a talker, um, and so I think people maybe don't know him as well as they should. Right. But absolutely a right. top top tier player. Oh wow! Cross up dive kick to start off. And look at this momentum that he's got. Okay, good focus back dash. Mark Teddy missed his first low short in the stand. Strong, but he gets it that time. Wow, nice challenge from Shen. I love that. Mark gave him enough space to be like, oh, don't you want to hit a button? No, I'm going to hit an uppercut. Yep. Nice, just jabbing him out. So Mark Teddy likes to do the slide FADC and let the focus rip. Right. And uh, Shen just jabbing him out of it. I admire that. So let's see if Shen, Shen may have done a little work on Mark Teddy, kept an eye out on him, and especially having the time from yesterday to maybe go home and watch a couple matches. Uh, Mark Teddy, I've always kind of joked to myself that he's kind of like Combo Fiend Jr. You can't discourage <laughs> him from doing what he wants to do. No. You just have to beat him first. And uh, that's exactly what Shin is doing, just taking it right to Mark. And I actually felt like this was an unfortunate draw for Mark. Not only, I mean, I love, I love Shen. I've known him for a long time, good friend. But Mark is obviously a very dynamic player I wanted to see, and Shen is exactly what he doesn't need. Like yeah. a very, a guy who's not going to sit back there and be a target. He's going to take it, to, take the fight to you and is super technical. Yeah, and not only that, but has the extreme old school fundamentals of the Mike Watsons and the John Choi's. Those very are the much. players that can really diffuse Mark Teddy's game plan. It's just a, it's a bad match of styles here. How many counter hits have we seen here from Mark Teddy, which is sort of one of his bread and butters? Oh, yeah. uh, Typically, I don't know if it's well. Okay, yeah. there's one. One one low short from Farley. I'm not oh. giving up for that. But he's got a good momentum here. Yeah, I like that neutral jump short. Oh, and he just faced it. it out. But oh, no. Didn't get the full punch. Accidentally shorted him out of the air. Not, I guess not familiar with the timing there. I mean, he plays against Hugo 101 every once in a while, who I do think uses gun. But, uh... Okay, got him. There it goes. And so good Mark, pressure. yeah, able to execute his plan. So that's the whole thing. As exactly. soon as he can get that opportunity to execute his plan, he can win the rounds. But Shin Cheng, for the first game, was just able to deny him of everything. And Mark's another guy that does not like to block for very long. He likes to keep it going. We've always said he's a low short monster. This guy never stops doing low shorts. <laughs> Rare drop there from Mark. Oh, wow. Just going right for it. I like it. He's done that twice now. He's sending a message to Shin. Shin's probably going to do a couple of dive kicks in the block. Oh, wow. Caught him deep with that cross-up. Goes for the extra damage on the EX shoulder. Oh, he tried to get him with the overhead, but Shin hitting buttons. And see, there it is, those low shorts. He loves those low shorts because they give him so much advantage. The low short and the stand strong connects at max distances. So it's a really, really effective way to play defense. Shen doing a little bit of thinking here. Before he goes back in. Oh wow, just caught him with the Bushido throw. 
Good press. There's the counter hit there. Yeah. Shun stood that test before. Not this time. And again, Mark, yeah, leaving yeah. just enough rope for you to hang yourself with. Oh, and then Ooh. he drops his low short, low short. And that was the dizzy, too. Oh, no. And Shin runs himself into the EX Hurricane. Okay, good stuff with the run stop. All right, so Shin giving himself a little bit of momentum. He's pushing Mark slowly by slowly into the corner. Nice anti-air. Gets that to combo. If Mark it's gonna be next again from behind, but he drops it. Ooh, Ooh smart stuff. Interesting Ooh, stuff. Oh, wow, a back dash was escaping, but then a stand strong the from pressure. Shin Chang. And again, not letting Mark get a breath. Like, Mark not able to get it going once Shen able to generate that offense. Yeah, I mean, this is very reminiscent of the match that we Viper just Cammy. saw. Viper <laughs> Yeah, it's just all momentum based. Yeah. Whoever gets that, that sequence going. And so far, Shin has managed to get it three rounds. But here we go, Mark got the first throw, so what does he have? Oh, close range overhead, I love Almost, it. Almost, yeah. And the one thing we haven't seen from Shen that you usually see, you also see a lot of uh, a nice EX grab setups. He's respecting Mark a lot, because he knows this guy's hitting everything. He's not going to sit there and get baited into that, so that's taking that option away. Oh, faked him. He got him with the overhead last time. This time it goes with the Bushido throw, and big damage on that combo. Oh, again stops with the overheads. Shen challenges. Oh, nice. goes right in there. Chip damage. Just gonna chip him out with that, and now we are down to last round. Match point, someone's going home. So intense. <laughs> Both firing away. Mark in there first, but burns a lot of meter. That's, I mean, it's, I think it's okay, because he doesn't use a lot of meter. No, meter's not terribly important to him. It's just on the approach if he gets sent away or on wake up. Oh. Is it supposed to be a hurricane there? Not sure. Nice focus backdash. Oh, no. Total slugfest. He dropped his combo there. He hit him with the sand strong, but then nothing afterwards. I thought he might have been going for a reset. I'm not okay. sure. There's those setups that you can't get out of. Oh, wow. Great. Shen answers. It's still even. Ooh. Look at this look fast. Who will stop hitting buttons? Shen rocking overhead him with the Mark overhead Teddy. And Mark Teddy defeating one of the old school guys. And he stands up. He's and popping like, off. He's popping off to the crowd right now. Mark, Mark Teddy feeling himself. And, you know, it's really interesting. I mean, it's, it's great for me to see him do this because... You know, he was from UCLA when Ultra David was there, like around 2009 era. And so Ultra David played with him a lot, and he brought him over to my place one time, and we played him, and 